everyone. Starting with a, a big um, laughing. So it's a perfect way to start. We're having a good laugh already here. Before we, even we start with uh, Richard, Richard Voller, that uh, I have the honor to know since 2010 that we met, 2010. And uh, Richard and me, we have like a nice, interesting path to share with you at some point. Uh, and then uh, I want to say that uh, we met with Richard uh, in Amsterdam, in uh, in Netherlands, in, in uh, interconnectedness, 10, 10, 10. Interesting place, interesting event we, we had back then. And uh, Richard is a healer and, and a painter. Uh, so, uh, so basically, what he does uh, right now, he's painting your aura. So very interesting what he does, uh, and I feel like he wants to share this uh, himself exactly what is that he, he's doing, how much his art has evolved. And today we're gonna speak. Um, uh, the subject is about community, ascension, and fun ways of healing. So uh, we're gonna speak about the subject. So, Richard, <laughs> my bro. <laughs> well, wonderful introduction, and it's great to be here on your show. I really, really appreciate it. Really know from my heart and my soul. And uh, yes, you know, it, it was it, it was actually a, it's a nice reminder because I'd forgotten that we'd met at the Interconnectedness Foundation Group, didn't we? Yes, yes. Yeah, and it was like we just you know we walked into the room together, and it was I know I just felt like it was a long lost you know soul brother. You know, you started talking, and I was like, wow connect with this person so much, so deeply. You know? Yes, indeed. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. And then, you know, I remember after that, we, we, we did the chakra party down in uh, wherever it was. And, um, you know, I went down there. I mean, this was really at the beginning. This was what, what 10, 11 years ago or something when then it's I was yeah. 11, 11 yeah. now. So it's yeah. Like, it's yes. Yeah, 12. Yeah. No, <laughs> we're 2022. <laughs> I, know, I know, and we still look so young. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, feeling young too. Yeah, and uh, you know, I went down there with 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 a group of people, and you know, you invited us to come along and and do you know aura painting on the dance floor, which was something that you know I'd never done before in my life, and and it's a beautiful experience because, especially what I realised from that is is that our energy is so high vibrational and with with you you know playing the music the high vibing music your vibes going up through that and then i was going around and painting people's auras you know on the dance floor the energy was just rising and rising and it was just like hearts were opening and people were like whoa what is going on here this is amazing this is you know as i say now it's awesome it really is awesome yes, you know yeah, absolutely Absolutely. Yeah, and you were shining when I painted your aura. You were like yes, really amazing, amazing, amazing experience, really. And I have, I had the chance to be painted by you many times, not just one time. <laughs> <laughs> to be touched by art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like I say, you know, it's like uh, nothing better than really doing what you love and then having the way to to uh, transform this what we do uh, also as a healing uh, way because I know that you when you touch the people you're doing some tapping technique and you're also a Reiki master yeah. I know this from yeah. your history a little bit I remember so this is pretty amazing and that's what I do I, when I play music I also put my all my knowledge like Reiki and all the things I know uh, it goes into my music so yeah. it's two different ways of approaching the crowd, we have done the work separately, together, we have done a lot of different experiences, yeah, and you still do it now all by yourself, so it's like yeah. everything works, but yeah, nothing yeah. better when they just come together, right? Yeah, totally, and, and I think that, you know, you know for, the, for, for the people who are listening in, you know, when I first started doing my aura painting, it was really like I just, I had an awakening, you know, you know 11 years ago, um, and you know that that, that, that my, my awakening was, was started by you know, three different things. It was you know I broke up from a seven-year relationship. I I lost a, a, a job that I thought I was going to have for life, and then I I experienced my mother dying, and it was like boom, 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 and it was all like oh, and my whole world just like turned upside down. And you know out of that, 
So when was that? Which year was that? Sorry to interrupt you. That, that was, um, it was 2006 that that happened. You know? So that was what... I want to speak about this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's like, I think it's really important because it's like now there's this great awakening that's going on in the world and everybody's starting to sort of feel uncomfortable about, uncomfortable about certain things not knowing really what it is that you're feeling uncomfortable about, but people are, are, are starting to think, you know, something's not right. You know, this isn't the reality I want to be living in, you know? So people on mass are starting to experience this. Now, you and I had our own individual sort of awakening experiences, you know, all that time ago, you know, because, you know, um, it was, it was up, it was, you know, we had to have those experiences all the way back then so that now, we have a wealth of experience to talk from, to guide people, to help people exactly. through this, you know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And you know, as I, as, I, as I say that, I can feel like the shivers like going through my body. I can feel my body like electrifying, you know, as I'm saying this, it's really like. Indeed, indeed, it's true. Yeah, yeah. It's what, what you share is exactly that. This is the moment to start speaking about these things because so far I was feeling that we, do not, uh, we cannot, people don't listen to us. So, so there was no rece receptivity in what we have to say because people were not, were not, were not able to even to even understand. I say understand, not understand, understand. Lovely, like that, nice yes. word. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, it's, about, it's about this and now with all that takes place around the planet and we are here still alive and thriving and what you do, what you love to do. And this is the exactly, to uh, keep uh, to to um, keep the hopes high for everybody and keep the vibration high for everybody because if you did it, everybody can do it too. <laughs> exactly, exactly, and I think that's you know that's a, a great example of it. You know, I think that you know we are just you know <laughs> we are who we are. We know who we are. You know, um, but we can do it. Everybody else can do it. You know, and. You know, one of the things that, that started to happen to me was, was that when I started to awaken, and I started to connect to myself, you know, and I think this is also like a really important thing. All these things are going to be popping up when, when we're talking. So it's like we'll, we'll take them, you know, as, as they come. But um, I think it's really important to understand that spirituality is not religion. You know, I think people are caught up in that area as well. People, are, you know, they go, oh, you know, oh, does, you know, that, that's religion, that's church. It's like, oh, I, you, know, you know, that doesn't resonate with me. You know, and I think it's really important, isn't it, Nikos, that we, we, people understand that spirituality is a journey into self, you know, the self indeed, indeed, connection indeed. and the source energy, you know. Indeed, exactly. This is exactly what you mean. I just have a different way of expressing it, but that's why you come in into the equation because I have a different way of saying it. And you speak about this, so it's perfect. We, I say always like, uh, feel more than fine, feel good. I intend always to feel good because feeling good is feeling God and then feeling God is alignment with the source. Well, so lovely. I, I keep it a little bit like this, a little bit out of the world, spiritual, because I really appreciate that you say and I try to also speak it, but keeping a little bit more simple with words, maybe, maybe, maybe some other people attach some other people. So. Making a difference is also very important because religion has also been in our lives, affecting our lives so immensely. I'm Christian Orthodox. I mean, I don't feel like Christian Orthodox. I feel everything yes. <laughs> at the same time. But we all have been affected in our lives from our families and everything uh, and what happened in the past and, and everything. So, so this has played a huge role in shaping who we are today. So it's, it's yes. great that you mention it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, no, that's, that's an important point, isn't it, as well, actually, also that religion is, has helped us to, you know, we've, we've grown out of it, we've evolved out of it. it. It's been a basis, but we haven't, you know, um, uh, let it, let it sort of just have our, our one vision. Do you know what I mean? Yes, yes. As we, as we go in to, 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 to make sense of this reality. So, you know, the third eye is opening and so the, you know, the crown chakra and you know and everything be, everything expands you know you get this expanded view of everything indeed indeed and that is a lot of work to do inner work yeah. daily work disciplined and uh, that's the part that m most people don't see because you always out there speaking and laughing and smiling but then 
this is what it takes. It takes daily discipline to go within and uh, to have the courage to say to your ego, hey, you have something to say? Higher self is in control here. So please, shut up. You have nothing to say. Sit down your ass. I will let, it, let me say like that. Yeah, sit down your ass and go within. So yeah. sometimes, you know, the ego and the mind will say, no, no, I don't have time. I have to do this and I have to take care of that. I have to care of that. No, no, you sit down and do the work because when you do the work and then with time, yeah, it doesn't happen right away. It just takes some time to go within and, and to find this peace within. And then from there, this is charging you slowly. And then you can feel more and more happier inside. It is like true, authentic joy, right? Yeah. Yes, lovely. I, I think that's authentic joy. I really like that. I think you've explained it really well there, you know? And I think it's, it is, it is you know, a transformation, a transing, a transform, you know, you're transforming, you're, you, you, you come into this world, you know, as, as this divine, you know, baby being, you know, and then the whole of society or like the matrix, and we'll go into that later as well, you know, it, it is programming you to be part of this, you know, conditioned way of being, you know. So really, when we get back to, to doing the, the daily meditations, it's really getting back to who we truly are, you know, and, you know, unlearning, unprogramming and re you know, to sort of reprogramming, re, you know, and it is difficult. It, it is difficult. It's like sometimes you, your, your ego will make up so many different excuses of why you cannot do your meditation. You know what I mean? Indeed, indeed. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. How many times did you try to invite people with us to come with us and everybody has their own excuses and everything? I was, <laughs> we always say, come on, guys, let's come together. Let's do this for 15, 20 minutes. Come on. And then nobody shows up. Yeah. It's just you and me. And yeah. then then we had in the very beginning, I'm speaking now a long, long time ago. And then we start doing our workshops, but then the yeah. workshops, because I'm gonna speak about this a little bit, because this is a little bit the subject of what to do. Uh, they were fun. Yeah, there was some fun, there was some fun activity inside there. It was like combination of what you do with art. So it was more inviting for the people, for the children. Because if one of the first workshops we did was in Ibiza, and it was even an article about the work in uh, Ibiza Spotlight, if yes. you remember. Yes, I so, remember. Uh, so yeah. we combined everything, and everybody came because it was like different than anything else. And and that is this aspect I feel that is that is maybe an inspiration for many out there to use their gifts and maybe use inspiring ways because you will need them, children need to be inspired and uh, i mean for sure they also have their own ways to show us i'm sure <laughs> this yeah. new, new new children do <laughs> all kind of new ways yeah. but then again it's like we have the tangible proof in our hands that that actually having the fun in what we do and in sharing the fun way of sharing our gifts it actually it's the way to do it it's, it's exactly doing what you love and then spirituality expresses through what you love. It's amazing, quite amazing, I feel. Yeah, 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 true, 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 true. And the thing is, is I, I think you know, to add to that, it, it is, yes, it is making it, the spirituality tangible. You know, I think that's a, a key, you know, element, you know, um, because the, because in, in essence, spirituality is, is energy. It's invisible, you know, it's, it's uh, um, you, know, you don't see anything. So, when you can make it tangible, and I, that's what I'm doing through my art, you know, and I'm doing it. I'm doing it now through my my um, reflection of art, my canvas painting art, and also you know with the aura painting, so that you know people have this experience where they they it, it's a very inner experience, you know, as you know, it, it's with the guided meditation, you know, um, and then I'm channeling the Reiki energy, and then I'm touching and tapping you know, onto the person in certain ways. And all this just, you know, <laughs> makes this very, very high vibrational experience, you know, where you're connecting, you know, with your higher self. But, you know, um, the thing about that is at the end of it, you walk away with this teacher, you know, and you see you know, your aura, you know, your high vibrational aura, you know, onto that, which is just yeah. makes it very exceptional. And it's also like, you know, with you, like you're also making it tangible with the music. No, so that people but mind, but mind is not really seen out there. It's felt after 
because I'm, um, I don't directly work with the people directly. I work more with the angelic and angelic kingdom and then allow the energies to flow through. And then I speak and then and then they start to dance and then it's the movement and they can feel it in the body. So there's not really something tangible to touch. But then we are different and yes. it's just like that. You know, I don't I guess I work with music, I work with the vibration and people can feel the vibration. So I'm just perfectly fine with that. It's it's perfectly fine that we are different. We are here to yes. accept our differences. But then what I want to share is something maybe that that's super, super nice to share in this now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about uh, uh, how uh, Divine Mother and Divine Father work, because Divine Father is the peace, yeah? It's this, this darkness, that this silent peace will go within, and Divine Mother, Mother is the matter, yeah? Mother, everything that you see around us is the matter, so it's a matter. So what you see, what you say, is Divine Mother expressing, and then, and then your art, or my music, or, or what you see out there, it's actually Divine Mother expressing herself, because the Mother is the matter. Right, okay, okay, okay. Beautiful. So it's an interesting uh, translation of the energies because yeah. now we are in the age of Aquarius, so threefold flame, divine father, divine mother, and then we have the violet flame, which is the color of uh, the, the age of Aquarius, which is the, the, uh, the birth of the infinite perfection of God. So it's pretty amazing. Wow. Okay. Uh, the, the two together come, they create the, the violet flame, the pink and the blue yep. create violet flame. So you speak colors, so I'm speaking yeah, yeah. now. What it <laughs> represents, that the translation. <laughs> it's always fascinating talking to you. I always feel it's enlightening, you know, the conversations that we have, you know, as well. It um, is, yes, as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This this year I've started doing a, uh, a, a form of art, which is... So I've got my aura painting that I do, which is very personal, it's onto people. You know, it's a very personal experience. You get a t-shirt and I paint onto people. Um, this year, I it started to come through to me that there was another form of, of painting, you know, that, I, that I'm also supposed to be doing. And um, this is, uh, it's called, it's, it's triptych painting. So I paint onto three, separate canvases you know and um it's actually the it's it's all very symbolic the the two canvases on on the on the edge are the same size and then the canvas in the middle is 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 larger and um on a symbolic level the two canvases on the outer side you know represent male and female so that could very well be father and mother uh, and then the the canvas in the middle is so that when the two male and female are in balance in complete harmony, yeah, then the third eye opens, and then you become aware of the divine within. Exactly, it is exactly the same we speak. Exactly, <laughs> exactly the same. It's the balance of divine feminine, and divine masculine yeah. within us, birthing the child. Like the yeah. inner child now is ready to come out and play. So yeah. it's the same thing. I just spoke with colors. Normally it's your specialty. So I spoke yeah. with colors this time. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And spoke with in uh, Divine Feminine. So it's ex exactly the same thing. It's birthing within us. So 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 ladies and gentlemen, you have here two children playing who so have <laughs> birthed the Christ consciousness, like here is expressing itself. Yes. In its own yes. special way, because everybody is Christ. Everybody has the Christ within them, it's already in them, already now, it's just waiting to be expressed. And when the moment is ready, they will be able to express it or they're already expressing it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we're able yeah. to see everybody as Christ's around us, Christ well, consciousness. And well, the more we do it, the more it happens. So yeah, I mean, and I think this is the thing. I think like, you know, I think when I first knew you, it was like, you know, you were saying that you were Jesus. And I'm going, no, 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 no you're Jesus, I'm Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and, you know, and now, and now it's like, you know, this where, oh no, we can all be Jesus. You know, we've all got the light in us. We've all got, you know, you know that. And and I think, you know, that's also this 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 like unity consciousness. You know, it it changes. It goes from that ego consciousness to, you know, it's it's like I am you, you are me, we are one. You know. And you also marry Magdalene as well, because yeah. the feminine, the masculine is within us. So let's yeah. not forget this. It's just like we're attaching to a male figure our male characteristics, but you also the female characteristics. So it's all together, coming together. As personally, I have gone through this journey to find this balance within me. Like I had a lot of some some time that I need to balance the energy yeah. within me, and I was feeling right. the imbalance of the two, trying to because I had some female attributes trying to come forward and I was suppressing them, not wanting them to come out because that was bringing the balance. And then, and then, and then of course I had to, to do some inner work to release certain, certain emotional, uh, uh, let's say, uh, um, charge that I had and also judgment to myself yes. to reach that state, to not be, to allow myself to be also the, my divine feminine. Yes. Wow, to to, to 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 build it together. Yeah, and I think this is really important stuff because I think that people who are like I'm trying to I'm putting my mind into people who are just sort of getting who are just on the sort of step one, you know, of this you no know, path. And when you start to because like okay, let's let's let, let's take a man. You know, we're a man and we've got our masculine way of doing stuff and you know we're we're very rational thinkers, logical and you know and and all of this and this is the way we've been taught and programmed. This is how we have to be, you know. Then if you've got any sort of you know feminine energies coming through, then society starts to, you know, say, oh you no, know, this is to do with your sexuality or this is to do with you know, that side of you. you know, and so then you immediately start to put shame and all these things to these feelings and stuff that you have, you know. And then you start to realize, no, 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 hang on a second. You know, the world is sexualizing all these, you know, feelings and stuff that we have, which we actually need to bring out, you know, within us and, and feel comfortable because they're just, we're talking about traits here now. We're talking about the, the, the gender traits. We're not talking about the sexualization of things, you know. I think this is really, I think that is what was blocking people, especially men, of becoming more balanced with them, with their fit, you know, feminine and, and masculine energy, do you think? Indeed. Indeed, especially also the way the matrix functions. I know, for example, that I didn't go to the army in Greece. I was very strong to, to say, no, I'm not going because in Greece it was obligatory till you get almost 40 years old. So I didn't go, I was very strong, I had to fight against my father, against all the whole thing. I was not coming mm -hmm. to Greece for that reason. But again, uh, uh, I know that military here in Greece, for example, and all around the planet, they suppress the divine feminine. So it's right. a very, very important thing to know because of the, of the habits they have, they have to, to really, uh, to really uh, uh, go, uh, let the people be disciplined in a certain area to be to, in authoritarian way, authoritarian ways, to follow a certain direction, to follow others, to not uh, uh, completely uh, understand that they are sovereign. Yeah. So because if you have a sovereign soldier, I'm sorry, but <laughs> he doesn't listen to orders. You know. So I, since I was a child, I don't listen to orders, and I had authoritarian father I tried to suppress it and it worked for a while but but didn't work for my, for, for the rest of my life and then I had my hair like this up I was like a like a clown like a punk you punk, know like punk, a, right. a dance, okay. like I was shaving all my hair and I go like, like a punk because for me it was a, a huge statement into the society because of the suppression okay. I had from from family yeah, from, okay. uh, from me. so 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 that was my statement back then in, in the times I was a dancer and, and, and now I feel this is a day, again the time to speak about these things, this balance that happens inside of us. And it takes time to balance this divine feminine, divine masculine, wherever we are in our journey. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It just takes some time to, and that's why it's important to go within again, yeah, to yeah. do this inner work. Yeah, and I think also, you know, what comes to me like when you're talking there is that also I'm like thinking it back to, you know, where a lot of people are in the world at the moment. And, um, you know, it it's like when when we're when we're looking at what's going on in the world at the moment, we need to apply these sort of feminine 
and masculine uh, um, perspectives, you know, on reality. Now we need to use our logic and our rationality, but combine them with our intuition, you know. Yes. And when we combine all of that, then you start to, you know, look at things that are happening in our reality, and you think this just isn't right. This just isn't, you know, you know, you, when you use logic and reason, and you look at the different, you know, things that have been, you know, pushed onto us, mm -hmm. and then you go to your intuition, and you just say, you know, that this doesn't make sense. This, you know, this is this is wrong, you know, and you, you just know it, and you know it, you know, exactly. and that's that's with that balance, then everything starts to make sense. You know? exactly. exactly, and and you can see, you can be more aware <laughs> of the truths taking place. Some people tell me, how do you know these things? Like I'm, I'm reading things, I know it's not true. It's, it's a lie. I can see, I can feel it right away. And it's like, no, I read this 50 books over here, you know, and it's like that. And I'm just listening to a channeling and the channeling is like today, somebody challenged something or maybe I channel myself sometimes. And I know, I know the information is true, 100% true. And I know it. How I know it's like an inner, inner knowing that I have received already through the inner work I'm doing. So I don't need to read any book. I don't read. I don't need to read the Bible. It's just the truth that I feel inside my heart that is there, and yeah. then that's how I create my website. My website is I share sometimes channelings from my other <laughs> channels, and 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 uh, and, uh, and 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 that's how and I'm I I lead my life. I'm just I'm just like living in this high vibrational awareness of reading things and being very selective of what I read and not just in in just everything that society is giving to me. It can be books, any books, like any books that come out there now also, it's the same thing. All of them is a lot of lies inside and a lot of ways to control uh, the mind to, re to remain in this older way of, of, of being a slave into the matrix. And yeah. I, I mean, right away I read something and I can say, I can right away say, no, that's not it. That's, that's not where we're go we going. That's not my reality. Right away, and I don't even need sometimes to, to, to read the books. Just I just by seeing it, and I feel it already. It's not the right thing to do. I don't know about you, but that's how I function. Like already for some time now. That's how, because it's a near inner truth that you know already, and yeah. nobody can take this from us. Yeah, and I think that you know, the way I see it is, is that we are living in this illusionary world. You know, this this material, you know, illusionary world. And when you do your inner healing work. Because it's it's you you you've got to be able to make sense of this world. You've got to go in. You know the only way out is to go in. You know, so you know when you go inward and you do your meditations and you do all this work, you know, you're raising your energy from your from your you know root chakra, from your sacral chakra, from which is all to do with you know your sexual organs and all of this. You know, which is the way that most people are experiencing reality. You know, in the world. You know. And you're moving that energy up and it's coming into your heart chakra and your heart chakra you've got your feelings and your divine love and all of this and you're moving it up to your third eye and when you get up to here you just see through the bullshit you just you instantly see through the bullshit like you know what you're talking about and you just and it doesn't resonate with you and you just see everything differently and you look the same you know you might look a little bit older and a little bit wiser you know but you you are seen through the illusion so that and you're seeing it through you no know, as you say with your senses you, know, you just you can put your hand on the book and you know it's full of crap you no know, because it's just it's on a low vibrational energy or you start reading it and you just know you you start talking to somebody and you know you know it's a knowing it's, yes. it's not it's, it's not a belief it's yes. a knowing exactly exactly yeah. and this is this is what we achieve just by doing 15 20 minutes daily inner work yeah yes this is just takes this time some okay i meditate a little bit longer now of course sometimes i take one or two hours but i mean i just want to say for the people who are watching us 15 20 minutes every day is more than enough to start first thing in the morning how do you feel about that yeah yeah and i actually think like you know first thing in the morning it's the very best time to do it because then you know you've woken up from your sleep you know um, I, I, always, I always keep a journal by my, next to my bed and I write down any dreams that I have because I'm I'm saying that dreams are really important to, you know, to, and I'm doing, I'm starting to do a lot of astral travel now. You know, I even, even this morning I had a message from somebody that's, um, 
that I was in their dream last night. I was talking to them and I was saying stuff to them, you know, so it's like it's becoming you know, more and more you know, powerful and you know, know what's what's happening. So, oh, OK, so that's dreams. But when you wake up first thing in the morning, that's the time to do your guided meditation. Exactly. Before you start the day, you know, you start it off on that, that high vibration, connecting to your higher self, connecting to source, you know, boom. And, you know, it's also beautiful because after you've done your guided meditation, you can also spend a few minutes just to, you know, tune in with your higher self and ask any questions and and get the guidance for what you have to do today. Exactly, exactly. And also ask the, the support of the angels, archangels, Mother, Father, God. Yeah. I always say it. Sometimes in the yoga schools or any other place I have been, they just start right away doing the meditation, just going within. And I feel that when we have such an abundance of guides around us, whoever that is choose, or maybe all of them, because I speak with all of them, I like to connect also with the Galactics, the Arcturians, the Pleiadians, and Master Jesus, and uh, and uh, Mary Magdalene, all of them, because yeah. for me, uh, it, it is they are there to support us. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael. So each one of them has a specific uh, specific uh, task to do. And at the same time, when we connect with them, we are we don't have to do the work. We just have to be joyfully in, into this energy, and then the energy flows through us. So so I I always say to everybody, please remember to ask support and also to support you for the day. So. It's yeah, nothing. Ask and I think it's good. Totally, and I think you no. Know, to add to that, you know what comes through to me is is that there is like at the moment there is like this spiritual you know war you know going on. There's this sort of um, uh, you know, uh, and and I and I think a lot of that stems from that a lot of people just don't see themselves as being spiritual or being spirit or having a soul. You know. I even spoke to someone the other day and I was just like, you know, laughing and joking. And I said, well, you know, OK, let's make it really simple. You know, what what color do you see your soul is? And then that person replied and they said, well, if I had a soul, it would be this color. You know, and then I was like, oh, my God. So actually, there are some people out there who don't even believe they have a soul. You know, wow. and then then that's starting to you know, realize, you know, for me that that's that's very um you know, I'm like, whoa, God, are other people like this? Yes, there are people like this. It's shocking. And, you know, these are the people that, that it's it's important that, I suppose what I can say is, is that, you know, your ego is making you believe it, it's you're the one that's running the show, you know. Um, I suppose it's a bit like if we think about virtual reality and we think about avatars, you know, you've you've got an avatar and it's your it's you know you're putting yourself into this body and you're running around on the screen you know if you're just thinking of your it's just you then you don't realize there's somebody you know behind the computer you know who's actually running it you know yes. Uh, yes. and i and i think this is the way people have to see it and when you get that connection back to your higher self you know back to the person behind the computer who's running the the avatar then you become so much more you know in, empowered in your life exactly yeah be the ultimate observer yes to really to really uh, be uh, um, practice the art of seeing ourselves as as from above yes being <clears throat> here with you now and then at the same time seeing ourselves observing ourselves from high that we are two people connecting with each other, and then at, at the same time being aware of this, of this higher perspective, little yeah. new perspective that we are doing this, and then yeah. also be the observer of the observer. That's a very beautiful practice. Yes, it exists uh, because I learned this back in 2009 from um, an amazing movie that came out. What the bleep do you know? It's called. Oh, very yeah. nice. Yes. So yeah. I, I learned some techniques from quantum uh, 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 physics. And and this is very powerful way to 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 create as well. So can you do that? Can you be like be the ultimate observer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a, that's a very interesting one. Being the observer of the observer, you know, it, it's like you know now it's sitting having this conversation. It's like I can see in my peripheral vision, you know, you know, from somewhere, you know, out there, you know, us two, you know, talking together, and and it's a, that's a really beautiful 
way to experience and a way to you know step out of your mind you know just be able to do that is is, yeah. is really you know really really powerful um but being the observer of the observer i think that's beautiful and then the, you're no more like already it's no the higher self is in control here already when we speak we can feel it mm-hmm. uh, and then at the same time we can even further allow it to be more itself and then it's just like completely losing control of everything it's now now it's like just allow allowing to flow it's so beautiful it's really nice sensation to allow the the love through us we don't have to do much work basically it's just allowing it to flow through and that's what we do when we express ourselves and that's what we want to speak now so i feel this is amazing times to be living really it's it's yeah, it's yeah, huge yeah. what is taking place within us right now and to be aware of this yeah. and to express ourselves and to accept ourselves and all that is quite amazing yeah 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 no 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 i think it is i think it's amazing and i, I think it, i think also what's what's incredible is is that you know when you realize that you know who we are and that we are creating our reality and we are co-creating our reality you know and because of I think because we've been unconscious for such a long time, you know, we have created the hellhole that we're in at the moment, you know, the absolute you no know, mess. It's been just unconscious co-creation. Conscious you know? separation. We created yeah. all that. And you're responsible for what we have created because we have chosen to be in a conscious of separation to experience it. Yes. And some of us came here for the purpose of allowing others to see what happens when you're not anymore in the consciousness of separation. So we are the way showers, the system busters, or yeah. call, call it however you want, you like. So, uh, so I, and, and that brings us to the next theme I want to speak with you, ascension. So right. what is your, in your terms, how do you describe ascension in your terms? Yes. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Um, I think it's well. I can I talk from my perspective. Um, I feel it's very much becoming aware of who I am, you know, um, and then it's a process of discovering more about who I am and breaking breaking free from this from this matrix you know breaking free from this from this world where um we are told it's okay to be different but when we but, but when we you know are different when we when we you know really say okay this is who i am and i know who i am you know, then everybody tries to ridicule you and push you down and say you're crazy and you know and all this sort of stuff so it's really like a time where you've got to be you know, courageous and brave and say, no, this is, this is who I am, you know, and I'm going to just shine my light. I'm going to shine and shine and shine because I'm connected to source energy. I'm connected, you know, to this divine energy and, you know, and we are divine spirits having a human experience, you know, and I think this is the, 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 this is what the ascension process is, is that we just, we connect to that source energy and we let it, you know, come through us, you know, flow through us, and then we, from that place, we we start manifesting our reality. Yes. You know? And we and we and we take the world. You know, we you know rather than being dragged down continuously by the, the 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 unawakened. You know, at the moment it's a little bit like the blind leading the blind. You know, you know it's it's just and and anyone who tries to step out of that is like dragged down into the gutter with all the other crap you know in this world do you know what i mean and the ascension time now is to say no we are ascending no i am ascending we are ascending no into those higher vibrations and we are going to pull you guys up you know that's the that's the difference now and it's really become very very apparent that that's what we've got to do and the power of the one, like one one person connected to source is more powerful than millions who are not. So one person raising a own, own vibration is actually uplifting everybody else. And that's really powerful to know because the so-called matrix wanted us to think that, that the masses are affecting everybody. But then when you do the work within, 
which is something it's something that they didn't want us to know about. When we discover the power within us, then there's nothing can stop us. We become unstoppable. Because when we know all these things to know and this knowingness of alignment with source, that is also what is for me ascension is to know uh, what what it means alignment to source. And then if I may share also a little bit my 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 way of expressing ascension, what it is for me in terms of light. Um, ascension is, uh, is is the process through which it, it started many years ago before we even started our awakening with a specific number of light workers that decided uh, back in 1987 to shift the energy of the planet by doing a very intensive uh, light work. Mm -hmm. And then the divine said that it, this, is, this is a very good sign that we can start moving forward to raise the frequency of the planet. And then, and then th this means that there were, it was allowed through the work and through pro possibly the work of many others behind us and the support of the uh, angelic realms and the light, all the light beings across, the, the, across eternity that they, has, they decided to start sending more light on the planet. And this light, what it does basically, we we become challenged of this light. We we receive the light and we, we bring it on in the earth. So we are like also the earthlings. So so it's like our, we become the connectors of this energy, and 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 then this light it transforms also our our carbon-based cells to crystalline-based cells. So our bodies are changing. This is why also our our eating habits are changing. This is why, for example, we go from from eating meat to becoming vegan more and more, or maybe some people they have problems with uh, with some things they cannot eat anymore. So everybody is different. Everybody experiences the session in different ways. And yet we have this experience that our bodies, we are, are shifting towards a fifth dimensional existence. And first time ever it happens, this happens on our planet, on Gaia, on Earth, is that we get also to ascend within our bodies so we don't die we don't leave our bodies like it used to happen with ascended masters before we mm -hmm. also have to take with us our bodies ascending bodies and that is a huge information that most most don't really see and it's not written in any books out there no medical books describe this this because it's the first time that humanity goes through this experience and i know these things because this way i came on the planet i came on the planet to share the experience of ascension this is my special little bit to share this knowledge i have about ascension so this is a little bit the the my my uh, what i have to bring on the table about ascension so so, wow, wonderful. It's, it's lovely. It's very, very enlightening. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. So, so I feel uh, that we are now reaching, the, like you express it also beautifully what you said about ascension, that we are, we are into this, this uh, uh, going from separation to unity consciousness, because it's also all about unity consciousness and understanding the power of the, of the one, mm -hmm. the many. So you are the one. I am the one, you are the one, and everybody listening is the one, like in the Matrix. Neo, yes. you're the one. You have the power to do the work within you and to uplift everybody else around you because high vibration uplifts everybody else. Yeah, and it's really interesting, actually. You know, you're the one, I'm the one, and together we're the oneness. You know, that's the, that's the, 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 the thing, you know. And I think it's, yes, you know, it's, it's, it's back to, you know, you know, that we're both Jesus or we're both Maria or you know whatever you want to there's 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 no it's you know because it's like I see reality from I am perspective and so do you you know so it it's not it's not I'm the only I am perspective in this world it's it's everybody's got the I am perspective you know yes yes absolutely yeah. and then that's why why how we have to learn to accept each other with our differences instead of saying of being against on each other because you are different and that's yeah. also the part of accepting how wherever one stands in the journey of of truth or what they call truth for yeah. sure we won't have 100 percent agree about everything for sure not yeah. and it's okay to accept that this is also part of the deception process yeah 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 totally totally and i think that uh, um that's Everybody has to have their own perspective, you know. I think that's really, really important. I would know what what I think is 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 
And I think though in amongst all of that, we need to be respecting each other. We need to be respecting each other to say, okay, you that's your perspective. You know, this is my perspective, you know. Um, really we shouldn't you know start being rude and and obnoxious and horrible to each other just because you have a different perspective or just because you know you're leading your life in a in a in a you know more empathic or spiritual way you know it doesn't mean that you know um that makes you a you no know, in any way a worse person you know what i mean it's, so it's, I, it's same level it's also me and you we don't know where everybody stands in the journey. Maybe they are more evolved than us, and maybe they're just choosing for that experience. And maybe one day just 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 wake up like this, and then they are much more evolved. So there's no comparison. Yeah. To say uh, you are in that uh, vibration and he is in that vibration, and and we can never we cannot we the best way to do it is just see everybody as divine, and yeah. then then you make it easy for your mind and then from that vibration by seeing everybody's divine wherever they stand even if they're the worst person you can imagine if they start shouting or screaming or being even violent that is their resistance to their alignment to who they really are it's their yes. their journey it's not ours so we can if we can accept this and see what it is and then and then and seeing them still as divine in long term we will be able to attract around us those who are really aligned with their own truth and that is bringing us to community because right, that's the next okay. so there's two things before we jump into community there there's yes, two things please, we wanted please. to uh, to to bring up one is is the divine spark that's in everyone you know um and you know and the next thing is is projection so those are the two things that i want to, that, that i pick out from that um no, one is yes. You know, within within all of us, we have the divine spark. You know, every single person on this planet has the, the, the divine spark, and that is their their inner light. You know, now I think you know, within some people, that inner light might be really, you know, under under a bush. You know, really hidden away. And with other people, they've like you know taken off the you know taken off taken off, and it's like shining through. You know, um, and very much like when I started doing my work, I, I wasn't really aware of what it was that I was seeing. And as I started to do more and more of my work, now I've painted you know, thousands of people, you know, over the years and had very, you know, personal experiences with them because it's all, you know, hands on. Um, and recently, actually a few months ago, I, I met somebody else because I, when I do that work, when I do this work, I, see the sparks of light. I literally see the sparks of light, the divine sparks of light around people, you know. I know. <laughs> and it's really amazing. I'm talking to you and then suddenly like, bing, you know, this, this, you know, your, 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 your divine light, your spark is like shining, you know. And then I met somebody about two months ago who, um, who also sees that as well, you know, and that was again, you know, confirmation for me that, okay, yeah, you know, you are on this, the right path. You are doing your calling. You keep going, keep going. You've been doing it for 11 years. After 11 years, sometimes it gets a little bit like, oh, you know, did I make the right decision? Did, did I do the right thing? Because you go into your ego, you know, and then you get all these things that come up on your path and then they just remind you, no, no, you are doing the right thing. So I think that the whole point about that is, is that no matter how, dark someone might be no matter how angry or 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 in the lower vibration they are they all have a divine spark of light and all it is is just being able to you know trust that that will come through them at the at the right time yes and very often i experience it also that when i when you see that in them that it also creates a specific experience from them to us that it's no more it's possible that somebody who can be very aggressive, when you see the light in them, they act as they divine aspect more with us because they can see that we see them as love. Yeah. Also, yeah. I have experienced well, sometimes there's no judgment of where they are in the journey and I have done the work and then I experienced that, wow, this person changed attitude, attitude towards me and it's much more nice and kind just with me. Everybody yeah. else is like aggressively speaking and everything you know and then i'm like wow it is pretty miraculous to see 
that this is taking place, that I choose, I, I, I had a set the intention before speaking with them that whatever happens to this person, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna have good time. I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna engage to any fight and I'm just gonna make sure even if we have 10 seconds together, I'm gonna make it a nice experience. Yeah. And then, boom, it's there. It's like, wow, you know, it's pretty nice. Uh, that's how we see also the importance of others in our life. Like yeah. everybody else, it ha they have a huge value in our life, wherever they stand in the journey, because they they allow us to reflect and in our own shadow within, because everything is one, basically. <laughs> I mean, that, that was what came to my mind you know, when you were talking, and it's like, because, you, you know, in them, there's a reflection of you, you know, and, uh, and, you know, also what you're projecting out is, you know, the divine being, you know, which is within you. So, you know, very often, um, people who are unconscious, they're not aware of, of what they're projecting out, you know, onto other people. So, you know, when, at, when you become more in your divine state within, then you start to, again, you start to see through the illusion because, you, you know, you can be, you know, a lot of people don't see you who you are. They see who they, who they are projecting onto you. Exactly. So, you know, if if they've got, you know, jealousy and anger and guilt and shame and whatever it is that's that's, you know, suppressed within them, which is, you know, connecting to their dark side, you know, the dark side isn't, you know, Darth Vader or or someone out of Star Wars, you know, because in, in films they use metaphors to express, you know, what is within the person. You know, that's how films do stuff. So the dark side is not something out there. The dark side is something inside of us, you know, and it's it's when we don't heal, you know, our emotions, when we don't heal, you know, trauma from our past life, you know, we suppress it. It goes down, down, down. And then someone triggers you and then boom, you know, all this negative crap and emotions and shit and everything comes out of you and you just throw it onto the person, you know, Who's standing there you know and it's it's it has absolutely nothing to do with you whatsoever it's all to do with what they haven't healed exactly yeah and you know when you're when you're doing the dark the the inner work you know and you're connecting to your divine self then you know when people are talking to you it's just that divine love that divine energy that that goodness that godness that that you know that high vibration that comes out you know, and then people see it and they feel it and they're like, whoa, so who was that I just spoke to? Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. And that's, that's, and that's how things change. That's how love expresses itself. And that's what I feel we have practiced pretty well in this last almost two years now that this uh, story with the letter C started. I'm not going to say this the whole world because sometimes they, they uh, delete these whole videos for that. So. So, mm -hmm. so uh, uh, this thing, this is the lesson that we have learned being confined in the, in, into even more spaces in isolation that we have learned to, to actually be stronger in our, in our love within and to be compassionate with everybody around us and to send this and project, like you say, this compassion out and this light outside to everybody else. Yes, absolutely. Into the community. There we go. The community. <laughs> And into the community, I have three words for you. And then you tell me because you take it from there and nothing else. When you first met, the reason we met was the Venus Project and Jack Fresco. Yes. yes. And Bless Jack Fresco is a, the, uh, the person who created the Venus Project and he passed away on, on the way a few years ago. And uh, for me, it's a project that is very dear to my heart about community creation. And I know that you you met Jacques Fresco yes. back then. So I don't know what is this today because we speak about so many subjects that I did not have no idea back then. <laughs> then I, but then again, I see that what he's the has did that has work for the for the community. It's amazing what he has done even today. So maybe something now you can share your your idea about community and where to go from here. How you feel about this? Well, I mean, you know. Um... Yeah, I mean, I think that I think that 
the, the community part of it is is essential, especially with what's what we're going through now, you know. And that community is, you know, a community of like-minded people, you know, who are, you know, because it's now we now we have to be around like-minded people so we can support each other, and we can, you know, uh, be strong, you know, to uh, um, to get through what we've what we've got to get through. You know, that's that's the first step. You know, um, and then, you know, from being, you know, in a place of of you know, um, people who we can co-create a, a reality with. I mean, that, I think that's the that's the that's what we've got to start thinking about. You know, space where we can be with people and co-create. You know, um, uh, uh, you know, whatever we need to be able to thrive. You know, I think that's the that's the thing. And I I saw a a very interesting project. You know, recently. Um, not recently, I saw it a couple of years ago, and it's called the um, Umberto Project. Umberto, have you heard of that? No, no. Okay. Yeah. So you know, with with that, they really have like a like a like a system of how to set up a community and to work together, you know, um, and to create together, and how to you know economically you know function together, you know. Yeah. As as a community, and they 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 are. I think it's from South Africa. It's originally you know the original the original this concept is, um, but it really involves also working with with you know local governments and you know with uh, with you know people in the matrix. You know, um, and that is, I think, why it hasn't really manifested. You know. Because there are no people in the matrix who are accepting it, because they know it's a really it's a community-based system that will allow everyone to thrive. And you know, so I I think it's like a it's, I think there's a difficult thing going on because we are we are in a matrix which doesn't want us to thrive really, not on the you know. That is why our autonomy is very important because we're going to be reaching this autonomy. And then that is where the next word is holistic centers. So, so I have been focusing on this for holistic center already in Ibiza for quite a while since the very beginning, 2010, to have these events, Healing Ibiza. I started creating this with Toby and Belinda back then. It was my idea that I met them out and then started creating these events. And the idea was to make Ibiza the island, the healing island, the healing place to go. For uh, for everybody, and uh, of course it is like that because now more and more people are joining there, and the idea was also to create a healing center or a holistic center, and now it's ascension center, that all these arts come together where we create this space, this community with all the therapists, because we have an amazing team of people that we know, that we can work together to uh, to help those that want to come out of the matrix to help those who want to go on, on the journey of ascension to uh, to go further in, uh, into uh, ascending into their own bodies i feel that we have all the tools needed it's there mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's our gifts we're sharing our gifts we're sharing our love and through what we love to do and there is so many other ways to do it and that is i feel the community it's, it's it's already already there present you just have to come tangibly manifest somehow maybe an area maybe a village i had now when i share this last thing with you maybe you i never told you this before that i had like a 2017 uh, i was living in in a uh, um, san vincense in, in ibiza and then uh, um, i i was taking the plane to leave ibiza and i in the night before i had a dream I was flying in a helicopter and I saw a hill filled with white houses and it was our community in Ibiza. So it was a place where we're all living together and I could feel the freedom while I was flying the helicopter. It was so real, I remember it still now. It was, I, could, I could feel free in this moment. And I know this is not just a community locally, it will just expand because it's just a model that we are building, a blueprint that we're creating. So maybe, Maybe we don't. I don't know where this leads. I'm just sharing with you. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yes, and yeah, yeah. Maybe, and maybe you have other ideas. Maybe you have other connections through your art. What you make over there. What you do. 
now you're in Ibiza, so yeah, so yeah. the man now on, on the island. I'm not there. I'm in Greece. So, <laughs> so, so maybe I mean, there's something that you, you can. Know, yeah, I mean, like one of the things that you know that I came back to Ibiza was because I just really felt you know this is the place to be, you know, and um, and I and I feel that yes, there is a community here on the island. Um, it's growing all the time. Um, you know, I, I, you know, it, it is funny because people do laugh and joke and they go, oh, another healer coming to the island, you know, another, you know what I mean? And, uh, and because, you know, we don't take ourselves so seriously that we can't, you know, say, okay, you know, yes, it's another healer. You know, I, I'm, I'm glad that you're so happy about it. Um, is, is that, you know, the island is, is calling people. It is a magical island. Um, there are, you know, amazing opportunities here, you know, and I and I think again, it's about us collaborating with each other. It's about us, you know, working together, you know, um, you know as a community, rather than thinking, you know, I'm Jesus and you're not Jesus, <laughs> or I'm Maria and you're, you know, or I'm the yoga teacher, or I'm the tantra teacher, or I'm the whatever, you know. It's like we can all share. Know, between us and we can work together and we can you know you know, you know work on that level you know um, because every one of us is unique and every one of us has you know a new, unique ta you know, uh, um, talent and gift and we've just got to find our you know way of truly expressing it so we can you know have that difference but also you know work together you know and uh, I think it would be beautiful I think it'd be really beautiful if, if we could create co-create you know, some you know, healing center or sense ascension center you know or ascension area you know on the island you know i think that's a beautiful vision to have let's you know let's keep keep that vision and let's i've been having this vision so i invite you to just have uh, open eyes maybe you you see a piece of land that you feel it's right to do so just mm -hmm. Open your antennas, and uh, the funding is gonna be there. I know it. it I don't yeah. have no. It's like I know uh, my, many other things. I know that the money is not gonna be a problem. It's just about the teams are the problem, and we have already the teams. The teams are already set already. We just have to put them together. It's just like yeah. a chief cook coming, and all the ingredients are there already available for us. So we can do a lot of great work there because. Uh, uh, it's just not only Ibiza because Ibiza is a meeting place for us, but then it's also globally what I'm speaking about because I have also other places and and that is I feel the beginning of our communities. This is uh, like free energy will come along the way and more things will come along the way. We will be able to become finally completely autonomous and connect with the galactics and uh, we have uh, spaceships coming and landing in uh, in our yard behind. I'm not laughing. I'm really feeling. Yeah. It's just reality. I, 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 I know it's true. What I say, it's like I see it every day happening. You know, we're gonna be collaborating with the uh, Pleiadians, Arcturians, and all the light beings who are of the limited conditional love, who have like physical, some kind of physical bodies, because many of them don't have physical bodies. But we're gonna be communicating, and then and Ibiza is a good place for that. There's all the energy there is very good. It's very clean for something like that to happen. Yeah. Maybe other places. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, you know, I always thought you were a funny person. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the thing is, is that, is that you know, the new Earth realm is being co-created, you know, at the moment, you know, and that is allowing, you know, all entities and all beings, you know, of light, you know, to be here and and to to manifest this this new reality together, and you know. It, the, the 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 this has been created or co-created like on an astral realm you know first it, it is in the astral realms and then it's coming down to the to the to the matter you know, to the mother to the mother earth you know as you were saying and um and you know i, I think people are going to be you know, shocked by by what this new world realm will be i mean it will be you know, free education it will be free energy it will be you no know, you know, free food. It will be like you know, an abundance of of you know of, of things for us to thrive and and to prosper. cars. Yes. Yeah. 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 Damn it. Yeah. Replicators yeah. and uh, and anti-gravity technology, anti-gravity aircraft, 
teleportation, uh, celestial chambers, med beds, so, and somebody can go inside and heal in less than three minutes, grow a limb if they want, and heal from any condition. This is all happening right now. Um, we are connecting the dots right now. Ta yeah. and this is t taking place faster and faster and faster because now it's just a clearing of the old that everybody has to see it. And then when this is all completely cleared, it's a big surprise coming. I think 2022, is going to start to gonna start already seeing it. The more we speak about these things, I yeah. feel this is also the reason that we are doing this this uh, videos here. The more we attract them, so yeah, I'm right. inviting everybody I to get ready and yeah, excited. Yeah, so, I, I think the coming. thing is, is that you know, I think there will be a like when people more and more people wake up, you know, that they will go through this this this. You know, they, they, will, they will feel angry, you know, because it's like they will feel angry because this has all been hidden and held back and suppressed for such a long time. You know, yes. I mean, you know, Max Planck, you know, uh, the 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 person that um, you know, discovered, you know, the quantum physics and everything, you know, quantum physics has changed, you know, science. You know, before it was Newtonian physics, which was like separating the matter, you know, but now it's like energy. We're aware of its energy. And you know, this is all around and it's still being suppressed. You know, we're, we're, we're not talking just about you know, spiritual stuff. We're talking about spirit, spiritual and science. You know, the new sciences. We're talking about this stuff. You know, on a really like sort of grounded, you know, way. You know, this stuff is real. You know, and it, and it's and it's it's now there's so there's an avalanche of stuff coming through from every direction that it you know it can only be that this great awakening does wake people up. It yes. does. You know, it does come through. You know, finally, it is going to happen, and we are going to shift into this new Earth realm. It is going to happen. It is happening. Yes, yes, absolutely. The best has already come. Yeah. And how can I say that? Because I already feel it. I feel the momentum. I feel like you know, we have been now climbing, 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 climbing. We have reached the top, and yeah. now we just go downstream. It's no yeah. more it's like, OK, and it's going to go faster and faster. So you want to fly, you can fly. You can go on a car, on the bumps, you can go on the bumps. You can choose your vehicle, you know. Yeah. But I, <laughs> yeah. I choose to soar. Yeah, I'm going to soar now. <laughs> it's like I'm going to enjoy this ride. And then whoever wants to join me, let's soar together. And how you soar? Go within. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, within. yes, yes. Each yes. and every day, every time you feel like not getting there, go within again and do it three, three, four times a day if I have to. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. Lovely. Anything else you'd like to add, my brother? No, Before? no, I, I think, you know, I feel like that's 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 it. So I think, you know, I, I think it, I think what I'm starting to get now is I feel it would be good. That we have these calls, you know, once a month, I think, you know, tune in have a conversation and um we can see you know i think i think it'll be good for people you know listening in i think it's good for them to to you know see us talking together and and you know understanding you know um the perspective and you know this is where this is where everyone can be this is where everyone is going to be you know so it's it's i think it's important Yes, totally. I totally agree with you. And you said this earlier, but you were the one interviewing before. You were always the one asking. And this time I was like, hey, I must do the interviews now. I must be the one asking the questions. And totally agree with you. So we could be doing this once a month. Let's yeah. make this uh, commitment from now on to to do this and to update uh, each other with information and to see where we go from here. And that's how we create reality. We, are, we know now the power of co-creation. Yes, yes, totally. totally. So I want to thank you so much for being here, for doing this sharing. And uh, and I wish everybody to feel more than fine, continue in the journey of alignment with source. And namaste, everyone. Namaste. Namaste.